The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Hey everybody, this is The Ashholes. Each week, they smoke a different cigar, sometimes the same cigar, but mostly different, and they give their honest impression. They always assign an official Ashholes rating to that cigar. So, pull up a chair, light up, relax, be an Ashhole too. It's very rewarding. Hello and welcome. Broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. This is the Ash Hole Podcast and we are the Ash Holes. Today we've got some delightful news about a Star Wars kitten. We'll be discussing the top five candy bars amongst us. And we're smoking today the EP Carrillo Pledge. On top of all of this, we're also announcing our giveaway, and we'll let you know how to enter in a few minutes if you stick around. But first, the pledge. If we don't scare you away, you know. If, we if you stick around. If you stick around. It'd be pretty well, bad if, if they just signed on or just <laughs> started playing sure. and then shut it down. Am, am I eligible for the giveaway? Well, it depends on what's underneath your cigar band, Ed. Ooh. <laughs> so, so, yeah, technically we are all eligible. Obviously, we didn't check before, but the uh, the pledge uh, is actually the follow up to the encore and the La Historia. And to launch this, they did something really fun. So it comes in two box press sizes: the prequel, which is what we're smoking today, mm-hmm. and then the Sojourn, which is six by fifty two. And um, these names are just all over the place. I know that they go from like music to uh, movies to I mean just almost traveling, I guess. <laughs> right. So, so what we're saying is it's a robusto and a toro. Yeah, pretty Basically, much. Basically, you got yeah. it. Yeah, but they're fun names. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the fun names: Sojourn and Prequel. Prequel. Okay. So um, he released one thousand two hundred and fifty of each size, which is. 2,500 boxes in total, and to commemorate the release, what Ernesto Perez did is he signed the band on the cigar, uh, six of the prequel and six of the Sojourn, and he threw them into the mix. Did so he, Did he use a Sharpie? I don't, it looked black, yeah. so yeah, it was probably Mine a Sharpie. Mine tastes kind of like Sharpie. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm not even so talking the band. So it better, it better not taste like Sharpie. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, so... All these bands are scattered throughout the country in the stores that sell this cigar. And if you find it, it's like winning a golden ticket in Willy Wonka. You Only go, without the chocolate. Right. It's and cigars. And spoiled children. And I would prefer... <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer a cigar over chocolate, in my humble opinion. Um, and then what you do is you go back to the store where you bought it. You take a picture with the owner, post it to their... Um, Instagram or Twitter, you have to tag their official Instagram or Twitter, and then they'll send you a Rosewood special pledge Rosewood humidor with a glass top. It's 75 count, as well as a cutter and a lighter. So that's mm. the Willy Wonka golden ticket that not bad. that he yeah. launched. So, humidor. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we can all use more space, yeah. right? I mean, I would go out of my way to go back to a store to take a picture to yeah, do that. Right. <laughs> yeah. But like, if it's just the cutter lighter, uh, I don't know. I might pass, but <laughs> the human well, uh, Listen, it, sure. it's easy for us. We're in a store. Yeah, that's right. true. It's not like we're yeah, not we here all these, the time. We got these. So, two guys actually, we launched, we announced that we were doing this, and then we sold out in like four hours or something crazy like that. And if you go to twoguyscigars.com, if you want to participate in this, you can hit notify me. To, d- to get when a direct message, to, to get a, yeah, to get a, well, the, I know the Salem store has like two boxes left, but everywhere else they're, hmm. they're out. So well, won't that gamble, be a, a logistical problem if you get mail order and now you got to go to the store? Mm. What if that, you, is, that is a good point. Hmm. That is a solid point. Hmm. I don't know. Well, well hopefully we it, won. If it happens, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm sure they would figure out a way to accommodate. Yeah, yeah something via Skype or something. Yeah. Well, no, Skype is out, out of dated. Wow. It's uh, Zoom now? Zoom, which is yeah. terrible. I mean, there's, there's really no good alternative. You, you could probably Photoshop something. Just, get, there you go. Get Photoshop. To take it. his picture, send it, <laughs> yeah. add yourself in, you know. Or like maybe a picture with the receipt where you got it from. You know what I mean? Like, something, yeah. yeah. Uh, although we would want to post that up probably on That's Instagram. That's true. Cover that would up be, the credit card information. That'd be and lame. Post your <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, 
The cold draw, I got a little bit, it wasn't a very uh, strong cold draw flavor. It was kind of like a sweet raisinous sweetness. Um, on the light, it was still kind of there, but then getting hit with a strong pepper. Mm. Yeah, I would, very peppery right out of the gate. That's all I'm getting right now. Yeah, I would, I would say this uh, this profile is more like a, a Pennsylvania broadleaf. It a does, little yeah. bit of that minerally character to it. Mm -hmm. So the makeup of the cigar, the wrapper is Havana seed grown in Mass, Massachusetts. So the binder is mm. Ecuadorian and the filler is Nicaraguan. Must be on the border of Can uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. I mean, Some, uh, yeah. Middle of nowhere, you know. Mm. Something like that. Like I don't think I've ever driven past any <laughs> tobacco fields, so it's got to be right no. by Connecticut. Uh, it's probably not in the suburbs of Boston. <laughs> or or even out. Like I've been I would be up around a, a fair amount of Massachusetts in my days. and mm -hmm. uh, But around Connecticut, it's like you're usually just going right in. And so yeah. you're already in Connecticut. There you see, are. See, I haven't been down there. I want to go sometime just to see if I can see the fields or the farms. Mm -hmm. But um, I haven't made my way down there yet. I've only been here for a few months. Yeah, Foundation Cigars is located yep. in Connecticut, well, big okay. Connecticut on a farm. Yeah. yeah, Interesting. Okay. Ed, what do you think so far? I know you're not that much further. Well, so far I would say uh, it profiles as eh, medium full to fullish. It, it's definitely got some zip to it. It yeah. does, yep. And, you know, as I said, I'm getting a little bit of mineral taste from it yeah i mean i'm i'm going closer to <laughs> pencil shavings you know <laughs> um, you know, it's got like kind of do you, a do you eat graphite pencil shavings? well who doesn't i mean come on like, <laughs> okay. it, it's yeah, good I, for your system okay. no so i can i can see the graphite graphite yeah. and cedar you know like kind of buried cedar uh, so like flavor. a number two pencil yeah <laughs> empty it out of the pencil yeah. sharp none of the paint though so that's that's a good yeah. thing <laughs> now, we eat pencils. <laughs> would that be an electric pencil sharpener or just the no crank? manual because it's n there's nothing burnt off so right yeah you would have some char if you push too hard <laughs> <You're> right <Yeah. laughs> a little char a little <laughs> ionization going on <laughs> yeah absolutely you guys are uh pencil shaving connoisseurs i guess oh, yeah. <laughs> so i have some exciting news for for everybody really it's Ash Hole giveaway time. Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> it's been a, quite a while a since we've so done a giveaway. This is different from the whole golden ticket. Yes. We're on to a new giveaway. It's total so, coincidence. Yeah, I thought, you know, it's a Willy Wonka-esque cigar. It's time to, to give away, show some Ash Holes who are listening some love. And um, we <laughs> because some, we're usually terrible to them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so we thought it'd be, it'd be a good time to... Uh, to do a giveaway. No. So the way that you enter, um, and you can do this right now live, is you share this on Facebook, this video. And the reason why we picked Facebook is very important. Um, so YouTube, uh, within the next few weeks, is implementing an age verification process mm -hmm. for videos that have anything tobacco related in them. Yeah. So if it's embedded like on ashels.net, yep. then you'd, it would redirect you to uh, YouTube to sign in. Yep. I'm not sure if you'd be able to go back and watch it on the page. We'll see when it actually I happens. I don't believe so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they want people on their site, obviously. Mm -hmm. Right. So. so so that's just a step that's kind of, that's annoying. A way around that is to sus subscribe on YouTube right now if you're a YouTube watcher. Mm -hmm. That way you're in it and you don't have to do this age verification process every time. Um, but we but we pick Facebook because they're coming down on cigar products. Obviously, there's other videos that, that utilize tobacco products, but we will be affected by that. Mm -hmm. So share this video on Facebook with the hashtag, the Ash Holes Podcast. That's it. And we'll be able to see everybody following that hashtag, and we'll be able to pick out a random winner next week for mm. a Ash Holes t-shirt and Ash Holes lighter. And a cool I'll, little lighter. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got a fun little lighter. So... I'll be able to contact the winner directly to get the sizing so you don't we don't have to guess. <laughs> yeah, um, that'd be awkward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, we looked at your profile picture. And, yeah, we took a guess. <laughs> Say triple X? No. So, so, yeah, you know, it's just a, a fun way to connect with the audience and, you know, chat with you guys while also, you know, getting around that, that restriction that's going to be coming down here uh, in a few weeks. So it's really annoying. I know everyone's yeah. trying to announce what's going on with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, I think... A lot of that comes from 
some of the laws that are coming out of the UK and California. Yeah, right. being Good. proactive. I, I mean, Facebook will probably go there eventually, but they already know everything about you, so <laughs> they yeah. won't have to verify right. age because you're already logged in. Right. Uh, yeah, it, and it's kind of silly anyway, right? Because you're self-verifying your age when yeah. you sign up for the account. Exactly, yeah. That's what, that's what I don't understand is even with certain videos, you still have to verify that you're 18 or older. Mm -hmm. And so I don't understand why this restriction – is coming down now. They're just trying to make it harder it's, for for people well, like us. And like it makes a difference anyways. It's like a gun-free zone. Oh, okay. Well, those guns aren't coming in here. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> we put up a sign. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. And really, somebody wants to. I mean, kids don't want to watch these things anyway. Right. So like, it doesn't make a difference <laughs> regardless. I don't, <laughs> I don't know a 14-year-old that's like perusing YouTube for cigar yeah. podcasts. You know what I mean? No. It's I, I just think it's a flawed I mean, a way. A kid's most of the cigar, they're getting sick. It's just going to yeah. happen, you know? <laughs> right, right. So that's unfortunate. But the way, again, around that is to, if you're a YouTube watcher, subscribe now. Um, and if you're a Facebook watcher, it, you know, may be coming down in the future. But right now, we're, it's a little, we're sitting a little better on that platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Based for on, now. For now. Yeah, well, right. and there's no redirect from Facebook because it's right on their own platform. They right. already know everything. Exactly. You're not watching it unless you're already logged in. Yeah. So it's... So, yeah. I think we're safer there for now. So yeah, enter <laughs> enter our giveaway and Ashel's t-shirt and lighter. And the share button is right on the right-hand side for those on mobile or on a computer. Just hashtag the Ashel's podcast and you're entered and you're good to go. So we'll see, uh, we'll see who our winner is next week. I mean, that's great news, but the sad thing that happened while you were talking about that is... Uh, I looked at my band. No. And I'm a You're loser. Not a winner. Oh, we already knew that. But no. <laughs> <laughs> so you get nothing. You lose. Good, Good day, day, sir. sir. Oh, is that what Ben's been hustling for in the corner this yeah. whole time? <laughs> the G1 that is like, I was waiting for one of you to lose. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. man. You I say good, good day, sir, to people more often than I should. <laughs> good day, sir. Yeah. He was he was ready for that. Well, I'm sorry, Ed. We still mm -hmm. have three people up here who have yet to see if they're a winner. So mm -hmm. I'm waiting a little bit longer. I mean, I kind of hope everyone loses at this point. You know what? <laughs> I hope Aaron wins. Really? Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. All right, I could be get cool. behind. Now you've doomed me to lose. Oh wait, Thanks. Ben's opening. Ben's opening his cigar. Bah! Bah! Loser. No. Bah! Oh well. All right. It's kind of sad. <laughs> well, <laughs> are I'll you sad? No, I'll be all right. Will you make it? I mean, later on we'll do some delightful news, and that always cheers me up. That's cheers the you biggest up. Biggest lie sure I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> um, Flavor wise, yeah, I mean that'll hold a lot of change. I'm getting close to the end of the first third. Mm -hmm. um, lots of pepper, like it's yeah. back of your throat. It's really, almost burning. The back yeah, of my you can feel it on your bit. lips. Um, the sweetness is totally gone. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say maybe a. I want to say a wood, but maybe like a, ch a burnt pine. Yeah. Because it's got that kind of a acidicness to it, and it's 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 pretty distinct. Yeah, yeah and the, the retro hail gets your attention for sure. Mm -hmm. I just learned how to retro hail. How's it been going? It's terrible. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't understand how people can do that. Just take it easy. Don't try to do the whole. I'm thing. not gonna. Try, I don't even think I'm gonna try. Don't it try this. to be a hero. No. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, just get that tail end of your exhale. Close your mouth at the last second. Yeah. And you'll get that flavor. Does it burn worse? For you, on this the, I mean, this in particular is, is a harsh. Mm, this is harsh. Retro, yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. I mean, if if it's burning in your mouth and your throat, then it's probably going to burn your nose. Yeah. If it's something's pretty smooth, eh, 50 50 shot, it'll yeah. burn your nose. I mean, <laughs> get your bearings first with like a Connecticut shade yeah. or something. Yeah. You know. Yep. Not yeah. Trying to. And you can practice with like retro hailing uh, soda. That'll really blow the back out. Jesus. So. <laughs> Are you having sinus problems? Go pick up a Coke. Aaron's <laughs> trying to kill our audience. <laughs> I love it. Any awesome. particular kind of soda? Anything Foxy. but. Foxy. Anything mm -hmm. but. Dr. I don't know if you've even been very Foxy, but it'll burn the worst. Don't do it with orange soda. All right. That's the worst. Is oh, it? I think ginger ale actually would probably be. The absolute worst. I've done it with orange soda. I've had ginger ale in terrible. my eyes, and that was hell. <laughs> <laughs> what? It exploded and How? sprayed oh, in my okay. eyes. You know. Better have a ginger ale yeah. fight. <laughs> yeah, ginger ale fight, like a gasoline fight, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my All God. right. Why don't we take a break? 
And when we come back, we'll continue smoking the EP Carrillo pledge, as well as dive into our top five and hear some maybe delightful news. We'll see. Yeah, we'll Certainly. see. Certainly. <laughs> Only Great Leaf makes great cigars. Aganor Salif stands out because of the distinctive mouth-watering flavors of the Corojo 99 and the Criollo 98 seeds, cultivated by Cuban agronomists on the best lands in Jalapa and Esteli, Nicaragua. When you smoke one of the JFR, JFR Lunatic, Guardian of the Farm, or Casa Fernandez cigars, you will experience the unique taste and aroma that makes Aganor Salif different than any other tobacco in the world. Smoke one today and enjoy the signature flavor of Aganor Salif. Hello, cigar aficionados. This is Klaus Kellner from Davidoff Cigars. I invite you to taste the elements with Davidoff Escurio, Nicaragua, and Yamasa. From water comes originality. Savor the sweet and spicy originality of the Davidoff Escurial tobaccos born by the rains of Bahia, Brazil. From fire comes intensity. Enjoy the bittersweet aromas and fiery intensity of the Davidoff Nicaragua. From earth comes complexity. Taste the earthy flavors and complex spices that are unique to the red soil of the Yamasa region in Dominican Republic. Only Davidoff Master Blenders could take the power of nature and blend it into a range of exceptional cigars. Each element making each cigar a unique experience. Water, fire, earth. Flavors that have risen from the very world itself. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Davidoff Cigars. Cigar adventures to a wider world. Looking for a mild cigar? Don Rafael is just that. Solidly constructed, and it offers up a mellow experience that holds a ton of universal appeal. This is just one of the reasons for Don Rafael's enormous success. Looking to get your friend into smoking cigars? The Don Rafael cigar is absolutely the right choice. The brand originally set out to outdo the competition, but for the price, there is no competition. You can't beat Don Rafael, it outsells them all. Don Rafael can be enjoyed any time of the day, all day, and cigar after cigar. The Don Rafael has a smooth, mellow aroma that will not linger. Draped in a seamless golden brown Connecticut wrapper, Dominican long fillers, and a Dominican binder complete the blend. Expect earthy notes with some hints of cedar throughout. And as far as quality everyday blends go, for a mild cigar smoker, it doesn't get more satisfying than this. Remember this, Don. Don Rafael. Aging Room 4 Nicaragua Maestro. Named Cigar Aficionado's number one cigar of the year with a 96 rating, is a complex Nicaraguan puro carefully blended by Rafael Nodal and made by A.J. Fernandez. As Cigar Aficionado described it, every puff is an overture of flavors that's at times heavy and rich with notes of dark chocolate and wood, and other times subtle and understated with hints of fine caramel and toasted almonds. Treat yourself to an aging Room 4 Nicaragua today. Certain general warning cigars are not a safe alternative to cigarettes. Bohemian is the original Brazilian big ring gauge cigar with the unfinished foot, curly tailed head and value, value, value. There are Brazilian reasons to buy and smoke Bohemian and here are just a few. Created in the Cuban tradition, this lush, dark Brazilian Maduro leaf surrounds a five-year-old Sumatra binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan well-aged long filler leaves. So, what you do expect from a Bohemian? A departure from the conventional. A flavorful journey into sweet, nutty, almost caramel finish. Bohemian, the original, unconventional cigar. Take a journey. When was the last time you experienced something for the first time? Curiosity drives discovery. Discover exceptional tobaccos aged to perfection with Balmoral Inejo XO. Born from passionate curiosity, Balmoral invites you to discover the optimal balance of sophisticated complexity and smoothness. Each meticulously crafted, extensively aged Inejo XO cigar blend is the result of a relentlessly global search for the top 5% of select premium tobaccos available. 
including our exclusive signature Brazilian Mata Norte. Crowned with a sun-grown Brazilian Arapiaca wrapper, Balmoral Añejo XO embraces your palate with complex notes of cedar, cacao, and peppery spices that finish with a smooth, underlying natural sweetness. We invite you to discover and experience Balmoral Añejo XO today. And we're back live in the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Sam, New Hampshire. We are smoking the E.P. Carrillo Pledge. And if you don't already follow us on social media, find us on Facebook as The Ash Holes, on Twitter at The Ash Holes, on Instagram at Ash Holes Radio. And if you're new and just listening, subscribe on uh, YouTube. This is a really good time to do that because they're going to start running an age verification process that'll make watching it on that platform more complicated. So do that today or come see us live sometime. We're here every uh, Tuesday at four. Yep. We love visitors. Everybody wants to see a train wreck. All right, I'm peeling my band. Oh, boy. Is he a winner? Let's see. I won nothing. Ugh. Dang. And it's even the inside of the band is not as pale as I am. <laughs> extra I haven't, little. I haven't. I haven't opened mine yet. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm letting the suspense. We need something build. to build up to the end of the suspense show, right? Build, yeah. Right. We still got some time. What are you guys thinking so far? It's got a lot of flavor. I mean, that's for sure. Yeah. Like it's it's a punch in the throat. Um, so like if you're like really full bodied. Um, into Ipi Carrillo, I mean, this would be something to try for sure, yeah. um, because it is just pepper and and hot and <laughs> just it's it's made to be strong. Mm-hmm. Uh, the actual nicotine strength isn't like crazy, maybe no. a five, maybe, yeah. but it's got that f- full bodied flavor. What about you, Ed Sullivan? <laughs> This will probably be the only one I smoke. Okay. <laughs> you mean it's, you're not going to play the game again? Well, no, it's not that uh, it's a bad cigar. I agree with what Aaron was saying. So kind of in this price point, there are things that I would prefer. Sure. I think so far, and I'm not quite far as far along as you guys are, it, it's a little one-dimensional. Mm-hmm. Um, nothing is really standing out to me flavor-wise other than pepper and that's about it. So, I mean, if you're a fan of uh, Pepper Bomb, EP, and- <laughs> yeah, Pepper Bomb or EP Real, absolutely, you know, give it a try. Um, but yeah, this this might be. I don't know. I might I might play the game again. I might smoke another. You know, to well, see if I'm a Willy Wonka winner. Win. Yeah, I do. I want to win. Gambling habit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you maybe. <laughs> what about you, Ben? Are you still smoking yours? Yeah, I'm still smoking mine. <clears throat> Reminds me of the time when you're at the dentist and the dentist shoves his whole fist in your mouth and you're like, oh, oh God, <laughs> which, which too dentist much. are you going? Yeah. <laughs> Do we need to make a phone call? His name is Dr. Cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, literally his name. Are you <laughs> Real serious? Dr. Cinnamon. Wait, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Which back alley did you find him? Framing him. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I'm going to avoid Dr. Cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. That's you might just, like it. It sounds yeah. sketchy. Like, you that, check, yeah. He's got a glove on. That's He's got like, a glove <laughs> on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know when you got to be a doctor, you know, at noon to four, but you got to go be a stripper from six to nine, doctor. Yes, Cinnamon. I'm so familiar with this. <laughs> <Do> you? <laughs> yeah, you know, got, podcast producer by day, got to make him <laughs> exotic dancer by night. Now, how big are Doctor Cinnamon's hands? <laughs> it's like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's hands. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I have to unhinge my jaw like a python. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Does wow. he knock you out every time you go for a cleaning too? Like, <laughs> I wish. Well, you know. Although I, they did, uh, I, I had, had a uh, root canal in one of my back teeth. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. And they were having some problems with it because I have a bad gag reflex. Like, apparently, well, that's oh. what's going to happen oh. when you're <laughs> elbow deep in my throat. Yeah. But um, things. So they were like, "All right, try some Ativan." Okay, I'll try that. Not a big deal. Didn't really work. Finally, the nurse assist, uh, dental assistant pulls me aside. Like, you know, some people. Smoke a joint before they come in, and it really helps them. It's like no, it's it didn't like, hurt. It didn't are you help. giving me a prescription <laughs> for joint now? Don't think well, they can. I but don't think here, they can. Yeah. Here, here's what uh, doesn't ring true with the story. What's up? You would have already smoked a joint before you went. <laughs> it's in. like no, no. I'm pretty sure that won't work. <laughs> Finally, an old dental assistant solved the problem and just like here's some salt and put some salt on my tongue and it solved it. Oh, really? I was wait, thinking wait, they were gonna like hit you with a mallet. Yeah, you know, stopped your Dr. gag Howard, reflex. Yeah, because Howard. it's a buildup of 
the fluid in your mouth is oh. what's going on, and oh. the salt kind of absorbs all of it and takes it away. So that's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's the trick. If you've got a bad gag reflex and you're going to the dentist, a little bit of salt on the tongue. Dental it, it makes Smoke a joint if you want. You salivate even more. No. That's <laughs> so interesting. I've never heard of that before. I hadn't either. Very interesting. Until she forced it on me. I've got a root canal scheduled for Thursday. And Would you like me to come with? I hear they're pretty no, fun. I'm going to just be grateful I'm not going to Dr. Cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, no, Dr. Cinnamon. I don't think you guys should disparage the good name of Dr. Cinnamon. <laughs> Such a good name. It is a stripper name, though. That's Such for sure. Such a good name. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I mean, you're you're either trailer trash or, or a stripper. I mean, that's that's the name. <laughs> or obviously a, a dentist. Or both. So. A highly successful both. dentist stra- slash stripper. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, I go to Dr. Smith, who was a competitive bodybuilder. So yeah, that yeah. is weird. He's got arms about his <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. I would say I have pretty normal yeah. doctors and dentists. So Yeah, they're not normal. A bodybuilder. No. Especially dentists. Dentists can't be normal people. No. Who wants to spend their whole life looking, looking down in, in other mouth. people's <laughs> mouths? Yeah. Their dirty, disgusting mouths. Yeah. They're looking for problems. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. awful. <laughs> Well, if, yeah. you, uh, if you are just tuning in now and you missed it, <laughs> I'm, turning, I'm changing yeah. the topic because we're, we're going down a path. Um, if you're just tuning in, we talked about our giveaway in the first half. And if you want to enter yourself, share this video. Uh, the share button on Facebook is on the right, whether you're on mobile or your computer, with the hashtag, the Ashholes Podcast. And you'll be entered to get some Ashhole merch and a lighter, mm. um, a T-shirt and a lighter. So um, do that today. You know, Enter yourself. What's the harm? Yeah, you know, all this stuff. talk about uh, dentists, mm. I think we should talk about the top five, which oh, yeah. has a connection to dentists it does. in a roundabout way. It does. Aloha! Today's top five is brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Choose from the mild white label, the medium strength red label, or the full bodied and full flavor blue label. Series Five Five has it all. Five Five equals the perfect 10, and that's what you get every time. The only thing better than a Five Five cigar is two of them, so you can share with a friend. And now, here's today's top five list. So, today, to kind of continue down the Willy Wonka-esque theme of the episode with the, the band of the cigar, I thought we should We're going to release five children into a factory <laughs> and lose four of them. <laughs> the end. No. Um, I thought, Who's the winner? <laughs> top one, number one. <laughs> I thought it'd be, you know, it'd be right to talk about the top five candy bars. Now, there's a couple ways we could do this. I looked at, you know, top five purchase candy bars, but I thought... We should give the official Ashhole top five oh. candy bars. I already know my number one, and that is. But don't give it away now. I want to start with yeah. number five. <gasps> yeah, what's your your fifth favorite? <laughs> well, honestly, <laughs> candy bar. Since it's number five, why don't we go with the take five? Oh, take five. Those just, are just actually though, they're pretty I haven't bad. had a take five yeah. in like twenty. I don't think I've ever had a take five. What is Maybe? it? It's got five things in it. I don't know pretzels and nuts. It's like pretzel, and caramel, caramel, and chocolate. Yeah, that's why I haven't had them in twenty years. Yeah, pretzel on a candy bar, not. A, but not it balances that like sweet and salty. Yeah. It's actually no. That's take actually five. I'm good. salty enough. Yeah. I don't know. Take five. <laughs> you take sure five are. for number five. <laughs> I am salty. Take, take five. I like it. All right. Four. Uh, number four, four musketeers. <laughs> ah, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Doesn't work that way. I do love. I do love musketeers. <laughs> it's not like though. we're not going to get to three. I know, but it would be number three. <laughs> no, honestly, no. I like them though. But I'd have to say Heath great. Bar, but that Heath may be. Bar. I do Heath like bar. a Heath Bar. Yeah, I would put that at number four. You would Heath Bar. For sure. Yeah, you know these are all bad for the dentist. By the way, yeah, the, this is controversial, but I am a big fan of the Zagnut. The Zagnut. What is the Zagnut? It's exactly. It's it's got the sort of butter crunch center, almost like mm. a butterfinger, but toasted okay. coconut. So oh, I love coconut. I, I'd oh, probably yeah. be on board with. It. I haven't had it, but I do like a butterfinger. Yeah, no, you would like the Zagnut. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we can't go all chocolate, so that gives you. It's candy bars. I mean, yeah, yeah you you technically could. I mean, is there a really a purely candy bar, you know? That's true. It's like, I mean, like, I wouldn't consider Laffy Taffy bars a candy bar. No, though, no. So. It's, it's, so it's, we always talk about, it's really a chocolate bar, like, when we're talking candy bars. What, what about, what about Crunch Bars? Crunch Does Bars? They're, I mean, they're, meh, they're, they're all right. I mean, I wouldn't turn one down, but it's not like, it wouldn't make a list. It's kind of like, oh, I got that trick-or-treating so by it accident. Like, <laughs> it sounds like number three is Butterfinger. Butterfinger. Well, the, the, going back to the Crunch Bar, the interesting thing is the actual standard Crunch Bar, not great. 
the minis are really good. So yeah. good. Bunch of crunch are really good. Those are those are the only ones I've really ever had. I've never had the the, the actual large bar. Crunch. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not as good. The yeah. minis are much much right. better. The the full yeah. size is too flat. Yes. Right. Yep. The smaller ones have more thickness to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what's number three then? Uh. What did we say? We were going to. We do? were kind of between Zagnut and Butterfinger. Well, see, they, or, don't look at me. I, I thought I was. I, I'd go Butterfinger myself. Butterfinger. I mean, yeah, they reformulated the Butterfinger. Did they? Oh, that's right. It used not, to be better. Oh, yes. yeah, that's right. Yes. My mom complained. She yeah. used to, like. She's the one that would like go through. Sorry, if you're watching, mom. Our like, I would hide my candy in my room because mom would eat it and. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she stopped. She stopped taking my Butterfinger because the formula it. changed. Yeah. So I was safe with Butterfinger. Yeah, yeah, and, and Butterfingers they really get kicked on your teeth. Like, yeah, yeah. it's like you take one bite and you got to floss. Wow. It's like it's you got to go visit. There, yeah, or go you visit have Doctor Cinnamon. Or you have a snack for later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, you've been chewing on that. Can't close your mouth, but you know. All right. Uh, so number two, runner up. Uh, I'm thinking Kit Kat. See, that's my number one. Yeah, see, it's, I mean, it's close for number one for me. Kit, but Kit Kat's good. Kit Kat's a good. Twix to, okay, as well, I'm those are up there. Uh, I don't wow. know. I Snickers? Yeah. I mean, Snickers is. That's my number one. Snickers was Snickers my, my number one. Candy bar. That's got to be okay. number one. Yeah, yeah, Snickers number one for sure. Yeah. For well, where's Milky Way on this list? Nowhere. Uh, not. Is it just the. It's the not. It doesn't. It may be like. Redheaded stepchild of Snickers. Number seven or eight. It would be right above the Three Musketeer. Right. It seems Snickers. like people like the Milky Way dark more than they like the actual standard Milky Way bars. I would stand I mean, by it that. Makes sense. Well, because they have a dark version. <laughs> Most candy bars don't have a dark. I would no, stand by fair that. enough. Yeah. No, Hershey's has a dark, but if Hershey's we sucks. could get a <laughs> a UK version of the Kit Kat that oh. would beat a Snickers. What do they use? What's Cadbury the chocolate? They use it's real fish chocolate. in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> instead of the candle wax. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so number 1 is Snickers. I think it Snickers. is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we can I all agree Snickers. on that. Okay. Yeah, I'm it changes, totally on board It changes with Snickers. your whole mood, too. Studio audience, Snickers, number one candy bar in the world? Almond Joy. Almond Joy? Almond Joy. What? That's surprising. That's I mean, wrench. I'm okay with an Almond Joy, but. Okay. I do like the I coconut. I just want to send out a disclaimer. I, if I you're going to come one. and watch the Ashles live, please don't be on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so number I'm, one candy bar. I will say is Snickers. Snickers that's, that's and all the of these will send you to Dr. Cinnamon. <laughs> on, on this, He's going to be loving this episode. On this week's episode of The Boys, one of the superheroes was taken out by an Almond Joy. Oh, really? Oh. Don't Stop spoiling it, no, Ed. No, I'm not no, caught up. A couple up weeks yet. behind. <laughs> don't don't spoil it. I'm not a huge fan of the whole streaming week by week. No, you know, it's binge. Like, Give it to me wait. now. Yeah, I want to be able to like binge it and then forget it by the time the next season. <laughs> right. <comes> exactly, because <laughs> that's what happens. Like, yep. I got to watch it again. <laughs> Ed, well, you got to catch up on this. I know, I know, I know. I have got like three shows I'm watching at the same time, and I have to, I have to give myself a little bit of time to get through them, and then I'm going to jump back into the boys. It started out slow in season two, but I'm going to jump back into it, I promise. There and then are, we'll talk all day long. There are things happening that there you need happening. to be aware of. Mm. It's good. That means it's a good show. <laughs> yeah, I'll dive back in. So in the meantime, yeah. Ed, don't you have some uh, delightful news for well, us? indeed I do. Oh. <clears throat> Are you tired of the news claiming the end of the world? Yes. It goes something like this. Real wrath of God type stuff. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough, I get the point. Well, it's time for some delightful news. Brought to you by Cuban Delight Cigars. So... This week, we've got a story that's bound to warm the cockles of your heart, whatever a cockle may be. Do I have one in my heart? Uh, You do. Sounds like a problem. (laughs) It is. So, this story comes to us out of California. A lot of happy things happen in California. Yeah, not weird stuff like Florida. (laughs) Apparently, a three-week-old kitten was saved from the wildfires that are raging across the state. But this was no ordinary kitten. This was a special kitten, with enormous ears, round eyes, and a button nose like Frosty the Snowman. She looked just like Baby Yoda. Oh, God. (laughs) The rescue group, who 
named the kitten aptly enough, Baby Yoda, said there are hundreds of adoption requests for the little feline. Baby Yoda is currently in the care of a medical foster. By all accounts, she will have no problem finding a new home. <laughs> and this delightful and it's news char-broiled. is brought to you by Cuban Delight Cigars, which are the perfect everyday cigar. They are made in the Dominican Republic from the leftover pieces of high-end cigars, and for just about a dollar, you can enjoy a Cuban Delight cigar. Uh, so you put the picture up, I see. I yes. put the picture up, but we also which one was found which? another one that looks more so like So there's, there's you, actually, yeah. The first picture, if you're watching the show, you saw was the Baby Yoda cat in question from the story. But we also found another one that looks even more like Baby Yoda, yeah. which is up for adoption in, I believe, North or South Carolina. And the ears just point flat sideways. That's that's adorable. Odd. It's some kind of it's deformity. Freaking delightful. <laughs> That's. I feel like I would name the cat Yoda or something for sure. Just imagine waking up and that's standing on your chest. Do you not mm-hmm. like cats? No, I. So Aaron's off the show. Very allergic no. to cats, <laughs> and so I, oh, okay. I, I okay. have that's no a, reason to to enjoy a cat. That's no. a that's just, a fair just reason. miserable near. Her, so I love cats. Listen, here's the thing with cats. They are undoubtedly awesome creatures. They They're don't, amazing. They, they don't know their place. <laughs> they suck as pets. <laughs> yeah. They are not pet. You might as well have a bird. I mean, yeah. they're both awful pets. If you need my- a pack animal, something that knows a hierarchy to be in your home. Yeah, not, not a cat that's just waiting for you yeah. to die so it can eat your eyeballs. Oh, if so my true. cat, Master Chief Cuddles, is listening, I hope that you've Master tuned off. Master Chief Cuddles. Someone's playing too do much you Halo. Say, <laughs> do you say his full name every time? No, you- we, he goes by Chief. And okay. he is adorable and amazing and... He's not going to eat our eyeballs. Until, you, until you're not looking. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't sleep cat. too deep. He's an inside cat or an outside cat? He's both. We live in the middle of nowhere. We're allowed so to So he's bi. So, <laughs> yeah. He's been inside. That's how it works. <laughs> he's, mom's been under the weather, so he's been inside with her as her Wait, cuddle. you have the mother too? What's the mother's name? My mother. Oh, you are my human mother. <laughs> oh, human mother <laughs> is under the weather. And, See, this um, gets confusing. Not to be confused with Sarah's cat mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my it's, cat mom. It's like no. I'm a cat mom. Yeah. No, <laughs> she's a uh, dog mom. No thanks. Chief steps up to be the cuddle buddy and the you know the, the therapy cat when uh, she's feeling down. So. Cuddle buddies. Ed, yeah. cats. Yeah or nay? Mm, no, I'm kind of with. Archie Bunker, who said that uh, goldfish make the perfect pets because they die before you get <laughs> sick of them. True. <laughs> and it's easy to dispose of. Quick yeah. flush. You know? <laughs> it's the same thing with a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's clog. No. <laughs> I, I'm going to peel off my wrapper to see if I'm <gasps> uh, Nothing. Yeah, another no. loser. Yep, you fit on the show. Well, <laughs> we are 0-4 on the ash holes for the... Well, that's good EP for anyone career. watching. They still yeah. have a chance. I, I know. Your <laughs> chances exactly, just yeah. grew. I mean, if you want if you want to go buy a uh, pledge, now you've got a better shot of getting a signed band. Hmm. And last I checked, I looked on their Instagram and Twitter. I didn't see any pictures <gasps> no or winners. anything. Yeah. So. It would be huge news, you know. I hope huge. so. People running through the streets. Huge. Huge. Why Especially in China. <laughs> China. Oh, China. 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 Yeah. All right, gentlemen. No, it's pronounced China. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, wow. You okay, Ben? Uh, you good? The cigar, take a, Jesus. Take a lap. <laughs> no. What else is in there? <laughs> All right. I, I need to know official ratings. I think we need to do that. I think we need Definitely to know the do. ratings. Uh, Aaron, what's uh, what's your official rating of the EP Carrillo Pledge? In the prequel size. I mean, I feel like it was designed for someone who is into the whole full body, like, you know, punch in the face kind of cigar. Um, so not really my wheelhouse. Uh, I've had some burn issues. Uh, construction's all right. Uh, flavor's just not wowing me. Uh, I'm going to have to go to 83. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's, ah, it's hmm. just, it's just not harsh. doing it for me. No, I meant the cigar. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it, it's a perfectly good cigar. It's, I would give it a, a solid 85, but as you said, it, it's made for a specific palate. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, yeah. if you're a light smoker. There's a smoker out there for it. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> so 85? Mm-hmm. Ben, what about you over there? Let's keep this simple. 84. <laughs> <laughs> just just cause. Right down the middle. Uh, yeah, I don't love this cigar. It, it, it's not terrible, but it's really not doing anything for me. I, the f- flavor and sometimes lack of flavor just kind of sure. really knocks it down a peg or two. I think me. if you're a fan of 
the previous, the ones that this is a follow up to the, uh, the encore and the law historia, you owe it to yourself to try it. Um, for my palette, it's a little one dimensional. Uh, I, I don't mind the strength on it, but I would, I would give it an 85. All right. So uh, I get it right. Uh, well, well, she's the authority. Point, what is it? 84.3 oh, or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> no, you yeah. got it right. I got it right. Yeah. Good job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the official Ashhole rating of the EP Carrillo pledge in the prequel size. Tune in next week to find out who our giveaway winner is. You can enter yourself at any time before next Tuesday. I'm pulling for you, Bruce. <laughs> Go, Bruce! <laughs> Until then, you have been listening to the Ashhole podcast bro- broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. Be sure to enter yourself for that golden ticket prize by us and share with the hashtag Ashhole Podcast. Until then, we will see you next Tuesday. And cats are terrible pets. <laughs>Expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.